Hey everybody, welcome to the Cannon by Kayak vlog. Lydia's not here right now, so I'm filming on my cell phone to make sure I fit in the little box thing that you're watching on there. I'm also trying to sync audio between my cell phone and another audio recorder, so if it sounds better than normal, that's why. And if it sounds just like normal, that means that we're a new YouTube channel trying to learn stuff. It also means that I'm sitting alone in a room talking to myself, so I take no responsibility for whatever may happen next. <laughs> In the last video, we looked at the legal regulations set out by Transport Canada for the stuff that we need to have accessible to us when we're kayaking. In this video, we are gonna be comparing the contents of this bucket to those regulations. Lydia's gonna take it from here, but first we gotta roll that intro. Way up she rises, way up she rises, way up she rises, way up she rises early in the morning. I am ready. I was born ready. That's not true. This took years. I'm getting Bowie vibes in here today. What do you do when I'm gone? This is major time to ground control. Who are you? After finding out what the law had to say about what we needed to have with us in a kayak, we decided to Google the solution to our problems because we're millennials and that's what we do. And what Google told us to do was buy this. This orange bucket is available to you from your local big box store for $10.99. He's so getting information now. For only $10.99. So let's crack it open and see what's inside. Can I use a sword? No, you may not. Can I use a tomahawk? No, you may not. Can I use a spear? Do you have a spear? I can make a spear. We don't have time for that. Okay, just a knife? That's fine, yeah. Now we definitely can't return it. Hey there, hosers! It's daytime now because these videos take a long time to make. Please subscribe so we can feel validated. From our last video, you may remember this list. Notably missing from the bucket, where's the bucket? Notably missing from this bucket is the PFD. Can you engineer a PFD that would fit in this bucket? Yes. No? Maybe? There might already be one. I don't know. Those are all of the answers you could have given. So what you're saying is that 20% of the time, I'm 100% right. The Transport Canada approved PFD is always needed. If we're kayaking, we're wearing our PFDs, no matter what we're doing. We should do a video on PFDs. We should do that soon. Yes, but not right now, because, because. we're doing this video. You'll notice that the reboarding device, navigation lights, compass, flares, and radar reflector are also not in the bucket. These may or may not be legally required depending on your type of kayak and choose it. Choose it. I knew something sounded wrong. <laughs> These may or may not be legally required based on your kayak and chosen paddling environment. If you are unsure what this means, you can check out our last video and the safe boating guide. There should be links to those floating around on screen and also in the video description. For us personally, the flares and radar reflector are not required for the type of paddling that we do. The flashlight is found in the bucket, but is only legally required if the kayak in question is over six meters long. Remember that this bucket is made as a catch-all for many different types of pleasure craft. So although the flashlight may be helpful to have around, it doesn't help with any of the legal requirements. It's also important to understand that the flashlight and the 360 navigation light are two separate items. Can I copy back? Yes. Yeti. This video is still not sponsored by Yeti. Now that we've pared this list down, we can see that the remaining items from the Transport Canada list are indeed found in the bucket. I was ready for it that time. Remember that these Transport Canada regulations are a generic minimum standard of safety equipment for generic pleasure craft, not best practice for kayaks. That went much better in the practice tape. I want to be clear about a core principle of this channel. We are not here to tell you what to do, how to think, what to buy, or how to paddle. This has been a core value since we started. It's something Lydia and I agreed on from the very beginning, and it will continue to be our guiding light until we shut this channel down or the apocalypse happens. All we're trying to do is show you how we navigated our way into the world of kayaking, and hopefully you can avoid some of the mistakes that we did when we were just getting started. 
This is a generic piece of safety gear meant to cover some of the transport regulations for a whole bunch of different types of watercraft. Is it what you need to go kayaking? I have no idea. As we discussed, that depends on your kayak and the type of paddling you're going to do. And as we also discussed, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I should probably read my line and try and remember it before I start talking. The point of this video was to compare the contents of this bucket to the Transport Canada requirements from a layperson's perspective. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. It will help get content like this in front of new paddlers who could use some of this information. At the very least, we might be able to help some people not get fined this year, because that's a thing. Was that it? That was the video. Anyway, we'll see you out on the water or in next week's video, whichever comes first.